My name is Omar Moalam. I'm a nonfiction author and a documentary filmmaker in Edmonton, and I'm here to tell you why this book, What Strange Paradise, deserves the 2021 Giller Prize. Now, it's written by a most special author, Omar el one of those rare literary voices with the power to reveal ugly truths about humans, both as individuals and as a collective society. And he did this with his debut book, American War, the criminally underrated book, which is a bleak dystopia that takes the United States current bipartisanship divide to an extreme and yet frighteningly familiar level. And he does it again with What Strange Paradise, which is an odyssey about a young war refugee on the run. Only this time, Omar does not take the current events uh, at the center of this story to any extreme because they're already extreme. Rather, he's bringing the worst refugee crisis in recorded history to heart, forcing the reader to walk, run, and swim treacherous miles in their shoes. The, the book is divided by two parallel narratives set just days apart, one past tense and one in the present tense, revolving around a boy named Amir. And in one storyline, we follow Amir onto a rickety boat used for smuggling asylum seekers from destabilized black and brown nations. And he regrets it almost immediately, wishing to be in his mother's arms. But the best he can find is, is the comfort of this pregnant woman uh, on the boat, who is one of far too many people aboard and very few of them that he could actually depend on for security and comfort. Omar el ability to keep the narrative at sea constantly compelling and harrowing is a testament to his genius because we already know how it's going to end. Because in the second storyline, Amir has washed up on the shore of an unnamed Mediterranean island like Greece. And this, the opening image of the novel, it conjures memories of the iconic photograph of young Syrian refugee Alan Kurdi in 2015, that tragic photograph that actually changed Canadian policy. Only what strange paradise gives that boy breath, and it imagines what his future could be if he were, in fact, the lone survivor of a capsized boat. And if he were given just a sliver of hope, enough to fend for himself and run toward protection and find it in Vera, a bold teenage girl, and other big-hearted locals. Now, to be sure, Amir is a few years older than the real-life Alan Curdy. He's wise enough to understand that he's inherited a rotten world, but not quite old enough to understand why it is that way, or why, for that matter, the people within it fluctuate so much between cruelty and kindness. What he comes to understand about them, the reader also realizes the same truth about ourselves, that our capacity for both cruelty and kindness is less decided by our character and more by our reasons for hope and despair. And this is ultimately what makes the people of both worlds the same, despite their inability to see through each other's humanity. Now, Omar el before he was a novelist, he was a seasoned conflict reporter. He's reported from Egypt, Guantanamo Bay, Afghanistan, uh, Ferguson, Missouri, during the Black Lives Matter protests. And you can see just, you know, that uh, his journalistic acumen coming through in his imagination. And he writes so vividly about people that in a way we often read about them, but rarely do we actually get any insight from them. And a book like this actually gives us the opportunity to get inside their psychology and their mind and see the world through their eyes. What Strange Paradise is a novel for our times, but it's also destined to be a classic for a future. When you consider all the forces that will likely quadruple the number of displaced people in one generation, I'm talking wildfires, floods, droughts, sustenance, scarcity, civil wars, we will all eventually have to put a face to these numbers. And that face could look like a mirror's or it could look like our own. And in any event, this, this book forces us to consider each other's humanity. And few books are capable of that. And that's why What Strange Paradise is worthy of the 2021 Giller Prize.